of our 30-day journey with St. Hildegard. Hildegard of Bingen was a reformer. She challenged the clergy of her day on their attitudes of arrogance, 
clericalism and corruption. She truly believed that God had called her, a woman, to rise up to this challenge. She risked her own well-being to embrace her vocation. The following excerpt was from, is from a letter written to Pope Anastasius IV. Soon after, Hildegard moved her sisters to Rupertsburg around the year 1153. A letter from Hildegard to Pope Anastasius IV. You, O oh man, who are too tired in the eye of your knowledge to rein in the pompacity of arrogance among those placed in your bosom, why do you not call back the shipwrecked who cannot rise from the depths without help? And why do you not cut off the root of evil which is choking out the good and beneficial plants of sweet taste and delightful aroma. You are neglecting the king's daughter, who was entrusted to you, that is, heavenly justice herself. You are allowing this king's daughter to be thrown to the ground, her beautiful crown and tunic torn asunder, by the crudeness of those hostile people who bark like dogs and who like chickens trying to sing at night, raise up their infectious voices. They are charlatans crying out ostensibly for peace, but all the while biting each other in their hearts. Like a dog that wags its tail among those known to him, but bites the honorable knight indispensable to the king's household. But you, O oh man, rise up and run quickly to justice so that you will not be accused before the great physician of failing to cleanse his sheepfold and of neglecting to anoint his flock with oil. These are powerful words of St. Hildegard. By virtue of our humanity, we each possess an innate dignity because we are created in the image and likeness of God. We have been endowed with so many divine gifts which we are called to share. We have the inherent right to live our lives in accord with God's divine plan for us. While at the same time, we must recognize that these rights come with responsibility. When we are in right relationship with all that is sacred, God, ourselves, each other, and nature, Veriditas is renewed and restored. Take a moment to list the spiritual, intellectual, or physical gifts you possess. Are these gifts being used to build a better world, or has their divine purpose been neglected? Take a moment to consider how you could use these gifts to help those around you. The following is an excerpt from Reverend Matthew Fox in his book, Hildegard of Bingen, A Saint for Our Times. From Hildegard's correspondence, one gets a taste of her prophetic anger and a deep awareness of what her preaching must have been like. Indeed, at the end of her excoriating letter to the priests of Cologne, she puts in a personal note about her travels and contacts. I am but an anxious and poor woman, who for two years was driven to represent this matter personally to teachers, professors, and other learned people in the prestigious places where they live. But because the church was in schism, I have given up this preaching. In her fury at church corruption, Hildegard doesn't hold back. Keep in mind that it wasn't as easy in that day as writing an email is today. She would write these things, mail them, and someone had to go on a boat and or horseback to deliver them. 
which meant correspondence wasn't swift. It was no doubt something of an event to receive a letter from Hildegard. <laughs>